in this video I'm going to show you how to add cracks and imperfections with just one click in Blender. So let me show you how to do it and let me show you how to use it. Let's get into it. Okay, so first things first, this is where you want to download it. It's free, it's an add on. So you can see it adds cracks and imperfections to Blender. One thing you need to download version Blender 3.5 or above for this to work. Okay, so if you're on 3.4 or previous versions, just make sure you update it. Okay, then when you want to grab it, you just name a fair price, zero, or you can give the person who created this as much money as you want. And then you just say add to cart. This will come up, download it. It'll be a zip file. Don't unzip it. You can see I'm on version 3.6. Then you're going to have to install it, so go to Edit, Preferences, Install, look for it. So mine is called, it is this one here. Then you click on it, Install Add on, and it'll pop up here. And then just enable it. So click check mark. So yeah, save preferences. Okay, so now we will refine it. Bring this up and it will be over here. Okay, cracks and damage maker. Then how to use it. So shift A, let's add object, cube. And now we do click here and apply it. Okay, let's go here. Let's bring this down. You can see it adds this. Yeah. So what you can do is change this. Make this dark. And you can see now click here. And it changes that if you want to make this that and this one. And then you can make it like metallic. And here what you can do is you can change this, so change the seed, bring this here, so I suggest leave it at 1, okay, you can change the roughness, you can go overboard with it, but what I can show you is that it works on other objects, so let's add a torus, and then click here. You can see it adds cracks. Bring us back to one. Bring this zero. Bring it like that. You can see it adds a bit of imperfections to your objects. So I know simple add on only does basically one thing, but it's free. It will help add a little bit more realism to some of your objects and it will save you a lot of time having to do these manually because I've got a video on how to do this but that video is like eight minutes long and it's going to take you a while to get it. This is just literally one click and you get what you want. So make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one.